really need to improve my charms marks this year. Perhaps I can find a housemate to levitate. I'm trying to grow some asphodel in the greenhouse. Such a beautiful flower. There's a kitty. Me and Ellie figured out today that Clyde is like about 75 years old and died. As a motherborn, I never expected to come face to face with a man eating cabbage. Well, I don't like her body to be with you. I've been scratching your face. I want to turn the camera. Where do you want to be? Oh, do shut up. <laughs> As long as it's not covering up any of the stats and stuff. Uh, I didn't part my hair good today, did I? <laughs> oh, everybody knows you're in remedial potion. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> that was creepy. What are you up to now? No, I'm not just walking around petting all the cats. I don't want you dying. <laughs> it's the best part of the game. <laughs> Sadie's like, where's my pets? Give me my fancy food. I think she likes that stuff too much. asked me today when you were like last of us and harry potter and i was like oh he wants to have a harry potter marathon and then i was like oh he needs the game i was excited about both but this place is huge right i don't really know what my what my mission is right now grab that there's something in there break that open potato Handy resource, resource indeed, indeed, your field, field guide. guide. I'm most I'm pleased to be included. Sorry that I'm so spastic with the camera. 
I'm not used to games like this. Cameras. You can move them around and stuff. What happens if you do something on that thing? Like go around that corner and like interact with that thing? With what thing? That. Oh, this. Oh. Press right on the D-pad. Right. Or left. So go in the direction of that. This? No, this. Oh. Well, how do you do the... Oh, it's where you, like, unlock spells. The luminous thing again? Rebellion. Rebellion. Um... I think that would be holding R2 and then right on the D-pad. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> just killed one of my classmates. All the students. Oh, the fuck? Ew, can I look at this? Can I look through this? Oops. should be a way for you to be able to like pull up your map or something and see where the heck you're going. Look and I can't look at the telescopes. <laughs> you okay, ma'am? Oh. Talk to me. <laughs> That's it. Oh. See if you can press the touchpad this way. Oh, that oh, there you go. Side quests are now available. Press the X button. And then see if you can scroll over there. Pick one of these yellow guys. See so that one. This castle is a Get a charmed compass. Go to charms class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you should be tracking it now. So you should be able to press out L1 a couple times. Go over to your gear. This? Other one. Or, yeah, whichever. Either way, that'll scroll you through your tabs up through here. So if you press L1, L1. I guess if you want to look at the stuff, put L1. Oh, you have no talents? What the heck? <laughs> Rude. Oh, wait, go up. Put your head on. Let's try it. Oh, gangster, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you read so much faster than me. I was just looking at the button thing to skip that. Um, do you have any, any hats or any handwork? Okay. No, that's just letting you change the stuff I already picked. Oh, okay. Oh, you put on some glasses. Some and... oh, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, now it's giving you a trail on your map. You see that on your bottom left, the little dots? You just want to follow the little yellow dots. She used to be booking it down these stairs, yo. Look at me go. I opened that chest, but like nothing. It didn't tell me that I got anything. Oh, Just opened it. Out in for the day. I remember going up this many stairs. <laughs> Professor Rowland tends to go on a bit. Jesus. We sometimes have to remind him just to miss the lesson. Yeah, turn around for a square at that spot. Class. Come, honey dog. Here. here. So cool. Behind you. There is an there open, open seat, seat here. here. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I am Matty. So, so you are you the new student. Have you, Have you met, met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall, we Shall we begin? begin? <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to year, year five, five of charm. Now, now, this will this be a will crucial be year in your, your education, education on the art of charm work, but, but I am, am confident, confident that we will take we will hold take with a passion, passion and rigor requisite of, of such a challenge. challenge. Right. right now, now everyone, everyone, please, please open, open your textbooks, textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. My, the seven months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed by partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. So each spot there you press X. So you press X to begin, and then you press X at each check mark to the real one. You just gotta point the analog stick with it as well, push up on the analog, the left one. Just do that over arc motion. Just like that. Unbox the new spell. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking... We might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah, 
<sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it will fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Press square to cast it. Press it again. Excellent. Good. Don't lose your composure. Splendid. Hey, it wasn't working. That's it. Not too much. I was pressing it again. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. Why isn't it stop when I do it though? Are you supposed to press square to make it stop? That's what I was doing. That's how it's done. Press R2. Oh, yeah. I was doing it wrong. Excellent. I lost me. So tired. Okay. No! Don't lose your composure! I lost it. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Hey, enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. There we go. Knocked out three years over. Nice job. What a play. I was trying to knock for one red ball off there right there. Just have her lose points, but. Very good, both of you. Well done. What a win.
way to outplay them, so. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Class is Gather your things, things on the way out. Good, Good game, game back there. I must I admit, must I think I, I underestimated you. you. Took me Took weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my first She's month. Right. My so mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in Keep new your country. wife's name out motherfucking map. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Oh, we ate all those one night when we were drunk. That was a while ago, baby. I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. You helped me. An enormous school that seemed to be floating in mid air. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, course, you can, can use Akio on humans, humans, if you're so inclined. A word, if, you're if you were. were. You'd be using it you wanted to speak to with me, me, Professor? I did. I trust, I trust your, your first Charles lesson lived up to expectations? Well, an outdoor, outdoor competition, competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What's Charles there in the expected? You did you well, did managing, managing to best, to best as, as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Are you just watching? <laughs> Are you watching it? No. Oh. I, I said thanks for watching. I thought it told me I got gloves playing now. Look at me, babe. Oh, you got some gloves? Mm -hmm. Oh, it gives you more health? Yeah. Or did you just level up? I think I just leveled up.
That person's commenting down there. <laughs> Who's that creepy guy? <laughs> how do you do another one? I already forgot how we got to this. Like another challenge thing? Or oh, quest? Um, other than that, that's R1. Boom. I can go to that other yellow guy. I don't know what the white one. So now you're tracking it. So now once you back out, that yellow trail will be on it. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Why you got gray hair? You stressed? She's a witch. I'm like the witch of the West. How far have you gotten in this game, baby? Uh, no, I've to the lesson. I got uh, Gryffindor. What was mine again? I've always been Slither in all these tests. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. L is just this? What? L? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, point, yeah, you gotta okay. hold it in that direction, so like just follow the line with it. So as you hold it to the left, like, yep, yeah, just like that, then you can push up at the point, and then you can push to the left. X, press X, press the box. Mm, that's the first time I got it first try. Love you, Love you. I'm starting to look like a serial killer. Now, let's try let's something, something a little larger. Large.
Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the damage deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. So that's how you break someone's guard if they're holding the fucking. Very I'm good. Too but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start Stop. with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts weapon. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. It's Protego again. Yeah. <laughs> this should be easy. <laughs> You're good. Now perspective. I forgot how to do the block thing. What are you doing up there? <laughs> lucky. Good form. I know. This can't be your fault. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You get as good as you get. <laughs> Just the way his eyes rolled back. This can't be your first time. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, right. That's enough spectacle for you today. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Heckett, my girl. Talk to that guy. Girl. No, the other one behind you. The one that's got the yellow arrow. Fine. Speak with Smash. Smash. Nice, nice work. work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. What should I say? In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. I just want to make him feel better. Right, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time.
what the map is saying. There's like a chest right here. I don't see one. I think it's just helping you get to certain points. Like if I wanted to go to the library or whatever, find it on the map, I think. Meet Professor Weasley? Is that Weasley's dad? Wants to see me in her classroom. Ron's mom? Sigma, is that you? I'm right there. Right to your right. Guys, look at these buttons next to you. I'm telling you to keep petting these cats. When I'm in a war someday, they're, they're all gonna fucking join up and, and defend me. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, this is Mom, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't really look oh, like the uh, actress. Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems See, Professor, Professor Fizz taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? I bet you Will and Julia are losing their shit over this game. Um, I've never met two people who... I would probably say no, Professor. It's up to you. Nothing more, Professor. I see. But trying to get a sonic from the stream. Regardless, you, so? you must continue to build upon the you know, uh, Harry Potter In shit. that regard, I've asked your professors to well, help pace your progress with some right extra now. assignments. I'm like, oh, look at Mary, and then she's taking a shot. Fuck. Professor Ronan, Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, ah, Professor, Professor Ronan, Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, now regarding, regarding the trip, the trip to, Hogsmeade, to Hogsmeade I mentioned, I mentioned earlier, we've arranged, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, yeah. including seeds, potion, potion recipes, recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. And Mr. Olivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed, You've managed your classes, your classes well, well with a borrowed wand, but uh, you'll find the magic, the magic you cast with your own wand, wand to be far uh, superior. Oh shit. I'm eager, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like, I'd like you to you make your make first, first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get, Help you get your get bearings. bearings. Perhaps, Perhaps Sebastian, Sebastian Sallow Sallow or Natsai Olai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Startling. <laughs> Who do you think? I go with the one girl, she's so more nice. Or do you think going into the dark side of Hogwarts with Sebastian would help me get more experience? Because he seems a little bit more sneaky. 
Do you want to get into the dark arts? Do you think you can get more skills at that? The underground shit? Do some you secret fight club? Corrupt. It's dark magic. Harry Potter had a secret fighting club. He didn't become corrupt. Okay, I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent, Excellent choice. choice. Miss Onai is, is one of our most talented, talented students. students. And she knows the area. She'll yeah, keep Sebastian's you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's <laughs> undesirables en route. Rookwood? <coughs> he's savory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished you Professor Ronan's assignment, assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle, castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner, the sooner you complete, complete your, work, your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> Butter beer. <laughs> Dork. Uh, I don't like reading this stuff. Do you ever read this stuff? No, I don't. Know. Cool. Something about the Something to Pharaoh. I just like I don't know. I don't learn that way. I'm not going to take in that information. But I still try and read it because I want to do good at the game, you know. Even though I never. Ah, there you are. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have a new spell to teach me, <laughs> Professor. Indeed, I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As, As Professor, Professor Weasley, Weasley mentioned, mentioned, I am I not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start, I'll start on the task, on the task right, right away, Professor. Should we go up here? Into the thingy. Or did I not do it right? I was trying to find. Oh no, they're all gone. I was trying to do the task. And I was trying to track it, but then. You go circular, you're still doing it, aren't you? I hit X to. Professor, Professor, why must, why I, must I complete these tasks? tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. So what are you supposed to do? Supposed to complete tasks to um, get the spell. And they were all on the map, and then I selected one. Hit X to start. Go, go click that yellow thing. Yeah, click that. Track. Boom, now press circle. And oh, okay. Learn repair from Presser. Professor Vernon. Is it one that's in there? <laughs> She's pretty strong. Where does that door open? Quick as fuck. Protego! Oops. I was, I was trying to roll. Oh dear. I shall get in trouble. Wish I could have done it.
I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. I need to do the other tasks first. It won't let me do this one yet. Learn the peril from Professor Ronan. Because I can't go with her yet. I should come back to this another time. Check the quest log for the current task. So press the touch pad, that big button again. Yeah, then press R1. Track one of those. Like one of these guys? Yeah. Did I do it right? Yeah, I'll go circle. Perhaps I'll come back to this. So I guess you have a quest log too, so you don't need to look for side quests on the map. Oh, the quest log. Oh, okay. Well, I got confused because the first time I looked at the map, you could see all the tasks I needed to complete. Yeah. I clicked one, and then when I went back, they were all gone. And I was like, what the fuck? You're leveling up pretty quick, making some good progress. You're about to hit level two, and then once you do that, you're going to be difficult as it seems. I'm so rude, I just shove past people. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Wait, go to your right real quick. Oh, that way. Go that way. And then to your right again. Look at that treasure on the map. Oh. Well, every time I try and find one of those chests, I can't see it when it's like. Right. It's I weird. Think it might be up there on like a different level or something. Oh, maybe. What is this dude doing? Fucking weirdo. This is the this right, right area. area. I wonder where the flying page is. Press some um, R2 and triangle. Hold R2 and triangle. Lumos. Oh, there you go. It's like flying around. Potato! Oh, like Shit, that what's the one spell that you can. Uh, R2 uh, circle? It's Leviosa. Leviosa! <laughs> The one that draws it in, though. Oh, that's R2 square. You remember that shit a lot better than me, baby. Yeah, it's the thing down at the bottom. Like, you see the thing down at the bottom? The R2, oh. yeah. So then the, the square oh. is, is pulling in. I didn't even... Yeah. And I didn't even notice. Is the feather thing. So you just hit R2 and look at that. That, okay. Yeah. That makes it a lot easier. Right. Thank you. So it looks like you're going to get an X here soon, too. So. I'm guessing that's going to be the repair. That's a good reminder because I was nervous about trying to learn all these spells and you know all the buttons. Be around here somewhere. Right. I'm guessing you're going to be able to exchange those spells for different ones later. Oh, there you go. Another page for Oops. I'm trying to. Okay. Let me open it. Is that what I'm going to do? It's square. It's square. Maybe this is square. Got it. Okay, so this is the one that makes it so you can get things close to you. This is the floating one. And then that's the light. Okay. Did you want to play yours for a little? I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. 
Now, now one, one at the ready. ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your one oh, is a conduit of your magic. Oh, oh no. <laughs> This game is fun. <laughs> Even though I kind of suck at it a little bit, but. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Level three. Hey, y'all. Get it. Oh, shit. Now, I think it looks like there's a new side quest on the map, or is that just like one chick you had before now? Yeah, now you can go to her. Oh, yeah. Inch. And she's, I can't remember what she's supposed to show me. She's supposed to take me somewhere. I can't remember what she said though. <laughs> Professor Weasley or whatever. Never seen them. She's supposed to be helping me with something. That stuff smells strong. <laughs> Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. Oh, yeah. And she just frowned. <laughs> yeah, she was like so excited and then just deadpan. Ma'am. <laughs> I have my serial killer gloves on right now. Don't test me. It makes it seem like she's gonna fucking jump you out there. It's gonna be a lovely experience. Yeah, so <laughs> I must torture witches. For I was glad Professor Weasley asked, asked me to accompany you. you. Really? Yes. yes. I have planned to extend to an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy it. I'm gonna outrun you. <laughs> No, the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. My roles. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooked up in ancient rooms. <laughs> We're just running and Great it's like you to take would actually have a conversation like believe this. Me. I believe you. Though I suppose you were not really called it elected when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful. Roll, slow me down. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often I spot lace wings flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I didn't listen to what she said to use these for, I just went and grabbed them. I was too impatient. Did she run away? Where are you? Bitch! But she's. I was trying to figure out what the flies are for. Look, look from the forbidden forest. forest. Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs. I, wonder I wonder if something started there. I heard I rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Ooh. I hope he's already seen the hippogriffs. 
Absolutely. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. I'm running very close to me right now. over the crest. Pass that ruin. I'm gonna pet the squirrel. Okay, fine. He's I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Right? <laughs> It's fucking Mr. Wild. He is the He's Hogwarts the caretaker. caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Moon. Mushroom. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Jesus, I'm gonna spin my face. Turn and rush. Ah. Is that a thing you're right? Oh, I look right at me. Oh, I look right at me. What did Mr. Moon? Jelly, guys. Don't get in area. Terrifying. Oh, I should be at the castle. Good luck to both of you. She just takes oh, off. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Matty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks wow. is the place for butterbeer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. So we can get broomsticks. I cannot choose a favorite shop here. And then you it can get places faster, reason. probably? Hopefully. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Quite, right, don't be mad at her. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new one. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience helps me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. She wants to sit on the bed with enjoy you. Yourself. No! I will see you soon. Knock it off. She wants to cuddle. She likes you. And she just wants to sit on the bed with him, honestly. She really likes that bed. Oh, you want the window, don't you? I think she wants the window. Is that what you want? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> hmm. So this is where you are. This is where you can get hairdressing. <laughs> uh, wizard wear, clothing shop, That's elegant. Cool. You can kind of look at this up on the map and then you go there to get stuff and like yeah. get potions and all that crap. Looks like it. That's Wand cool. making service is right next to you. Might as well go to that one. Oh, this one's right here. So. I guess we'll just turn around. Right in here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't open. Are they not open? <laughs> Maybe they open at a certain time? Maybe we have to go around. I don't think so. Okay. 
gold whenever you open those. So whenever you search the things, it's like... I'll be right with you. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. What a creeper. Uh, Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new one? Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbil and Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. The finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how hard. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. Oh, what kind of water did you get? The one I looked at just tried to attack me. Perhaps. Oh, shit. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, it looks cool. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Come on, Sadie, go for it. There you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Yeah. Take it. She's like, bro, I'm scared now. Two ones just attacked me. Press R1. Oh, I can customize my wand. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh. That was kind of cool. Just because it's beer. Yeah, it's like a little sword. How intriguing. I kind of like that one. I kind of actually like that one. That's what I want again. Wood type. What is that going to do? Curious indeed. Don't me changing it. I don't understand. How do you intriguing. Flexibility. Curious indeed. I don't understand what this does. No, we don't want brittle. Should we do fairly bendy? Where'd you go? <laughs> I want to do surprisingly swishy. <laughs> Where's the 
this hairline again. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. I think that looks pretty good. Just hold a square and then that's purchasing a fancy What do you think? I like it. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Alexander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thanks, bro. Now I'm trying to do it. I'll push that one. Never knows when society will be thrown into the midst of a man who will never drop and keep my wand at the ready. Let me in. Protego! Where did that man? Take it with me, boys. Who gets spoils and stuff? Real good, so I think she said I should get potions, right? Maybe I try this one. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> it's a tiger. Sadie tensed up when she heard the pouring. Hello. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Larwang. Not that she did to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, me, actually. Is it really? Well, party Pippin at your sons. And this is J. Pippin's Pushins. Pushins for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I need Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspect that if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion truly really that versatile. They may not be a showy spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. 
pop in pop when in you can, can, so you don't, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for but now, for now let's, get let's get you those recipes, shall we? Shall we? What can, what I, can do I do for you today? Which one's counting? This? Nope. Mm -hmm. Go up. Yeah, right there. Good count. And that one. Recipe for him. Mom. That's all free to the Feel free to take a look, take a look at the rest, rest of my inventory. Of my or come back, come back another back time, time if you're in a rush today. Got it. Bag secured. More can do. For having me gone. Should we try here? Oops, didn't select it. Oh, what about up here? Let's check it out. How do I do the thing? Ah. <laughs> Orange one? Or yellow one? Green one to make up for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mind the yellow one. I'm getting some shrooms. Hello. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way. Beatrice, Beatrice Green, Green is the name, but, but you may address me as Madam Green. Green. Welcome, Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cat. Cat. Oh, oh, mind, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't a constant, constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't need, to need to stop, stop so many of the of little, little deers. Except, except of course, for curses. curses. And well, and well if, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. There's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Thank you for your time. <laughs> what do you have for sale? <coughs> well, what say we show you some of what's available? I don't have any money, do I? This is a waste of my fucking time. You're not gonna give me some free shit, bitch. She's useless. Trash. I had to hear your fucking sob story too. So you gotta see the gold, the scrolls, and the magic. Scroll. Scrolls are way down there. That's the magic peak. That's not. Wait. 
up to the top left. And we already went there. What's that yeah. place? There you go. Yeah, you gotta go there. That one's a little bit closer, then you gotta go to the scrolls down there. That's the only place that's gotta go. You're not gonna get a broom or whatever? Oh, to get Trash. I'm fucking killing the game and I can give me some money to get a broom. Right? I don't know. I wonder if it's like one of those things where you just select a location and you fly there. Oh yeah. Or do you actually have to fly? <laughs> I don't know. I would I wouldn't mind either one. It'd be kinda of fun. Yeah, being fly actually flying around would be fucking dope. It's like the um, I feel like there's no way, maybe. The Wind Waker game that I used to play, like the Zelda one. You'd get a boat and then you'd have to sail to different islands and stuff. And it was kinda of fun. I don't know why I liked it. Well, hello there. Hi. Pardon me, sir. I'm here I'm for the seeds Professor Weasley, Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, oh the ditany for, for the new fifth, fifth year. year. I take I it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting on is a fifth year. year. You must you be must positively be reeling really from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing, I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in my way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. I'm after something free. Do I look around? Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's green, does that mean I can get it? Yeah. But if you don't want to waste your money on that, we're oh. trying to save up to get a broom. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Let me guess. Oops. You're no. something fresh. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Is that scroll though? What about scrolls? There was just. <laughs> Alright, so now you gotta go to that scroll guy. Down at the bottom of the map. Oh, this one. Oh, take that page. There we go. I'll come back right there. Keep looking at that. You're going to look down. It's like scooping files. Excuse you, Maria. Oh, that was awful. My aim is bad. <laughs> Problem. I'm telling you, this is going to turn out for me later in the game. You just don't even think about it. Morgan Le Fay has an unearned reputation. No. An inquiring mind. Inquiring. 
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell the part. So much more <laughs> heavy. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you do soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. These are expensive, bruh. You're robbing people. You can see it in your eyes. You got a 2023 car, don't you? Fuck. 2023 broom. No way. Is that everywhere I need to go? Can yeah, I go back here? Go back to the drum. But, I think maybe now we can go into some of those other places. I don't think we're going to be able to get anything, but can you go in there? Go to your right. Yeah, I think you have to level up a little bit before you can get into those spots. Yeah. What you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Now. Oh, oh, this is the attack on. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I forgot which one was the attack. Are we winning him at all? Keep the passage with me. I just kidding. I was trying to meet him at his own game. I love this. Do more. 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 
forgetting all the buttons. <laughs> I'm forgetting what circle is. That's what I'm telling you. Circle meaning you hit triangle for the block thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, but you would dodge. You would dodge first, and then you press it after he already's. It's one of those things where you gotta watch his animation sometimes, like the way he like picks up his stuff. Sometimes you gotta just learn their abilities that way too. It helps a little. That's the hard one. This is the first big hard guy. I don't know, I think those guys that were attacking me all over the place were pretty hard, though. So that was like multiple enemies all at once. Yeah, but this guy has like moves that aren't blocking it. Those guys do. True. Okay, shot. That's right, okay. Baby. Huh? No. I was thinking about making some ramen. Do you want some ramen? I was thinking that too. I was like, uh, Taylor wants me to make him a shitty sandwich and some ramen. Oh, you gonna make me a sandwich and some ramen? That's what I was thinking. That would be gangster. Just and then you could. <laughs> and then if you wanted to, you could like dip the the ramen or the sandwich in some ramen. I don't know if you like doing that. Yeah, because I'm old and my, uh, that way my dentures, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It makes it easier for me to no, no, I feel you. eat solid food again. You have to pretend like I'm young. You just have to beat this boss and then we'll call it a night for the stream. It's up to you though if you want to. With all my people watching. Well, yeah, it's like these people need to like go to bed. <laughs> You're not... the only one that watched your stream and it told me when you were watching it. <laughs> Here I come. Where's this bitch? I've seen the future. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Just grab her. That'd be kind of selfish. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. I think it's triangle. Oh, I'm gonna beat this guy, babe. Oh, 
It says to tap. I'd say okay, help, help is a bit of an understatement. understatement. Nerve, Nerve like that? that. The makings make of an aura, if you ask me. If you, if you are, are unharmed, perhaps, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, of course. Officer. Singer. Officer, Officer Singer. Singer. And thank you, again. again. Now I gotta, like, we defeated the troll, now we have to clean up the town? You clean up the fucking town. They just want me to use the I will see you but... yeah. Good Whatever, I guess. I'll fucking do this shit too. <laughs> what is this? Prepare. The stack of entry God, you know, this has just been a day. <laughs> Right, I always would think that. Oh, look at me go. What's this? Do I have this? No, it's just random box, I think. Day's work never done. <laughs> Did you see that? Was that another page? I thought it was. Am I just tripping? I thought I saw another page. Oh yeah, I just saw it. Got that shit. Sorry. I'm enjoying this game a little too much. Even though that troll thing fucking freaked me out. I got all nervous. Do we figure out what this is? Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Blue Pamper. Where are you? Oh, is that just the thing talking? Go Blue Pamper and stuff like that. Oh, is it this way? Oh, I didn't notice that there was a thing. 
That would be cool if there was like, um, if devastation hit a town like that and you could just go around and it like that, you know? Hey, I just got shit from there. You're welcome. One more spot you could prepare somewhere. Go that way. I don't think we yeah, go through that opening. That just, oh, right here. No, the other way too, right? Oh. Right there. Eh? Not to your left. You always overshoot to that. Right there. That's the place that just opened up, right? Is there something else we can look at? There's a page. I hit him with what spell? The... I think he's just like, killing, babe. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I feel bad now. I just injured him for no reason. Oh, there's still. Wait, turn around, there's still damage to repair in there. The thing's telling me to do this one. I have just one more thing to repair. Tell me if you see it and I run past it. But why is it leading me this way then? <laughs> That's confusing. I think games like this like really release a lot of dopamine in my mind when I complete a task. I think that's why yeah, I like I like more like task focused games. Talking about you. Bitch. <laughs> drink some tea? Oh, did I? Is that what I did? I was just trying to talk to. Am I not supposed to talk to him? You are very. You are. Hello, Hello, sir. I don't, I don't believe we've met. met. Allow me to introduce myself. Oh, Augustus, Augustus Hill. Hill. Clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help in storing Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladlag's visit wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And, as and I suspect this won't be your last dangerous, dangerous encounter, encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Your hair looks Ooh. silly. No, oh, that's it. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's, that's very, very generous, generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty of your perusal today. today. Take, Take your time. Your time.
Well. Oh, so it's just that one thing, I assume, right? Yeah. No, take it. You won't be disappointed. That's a good one. Would you question? What's that button that they're saying? Uh, right up in right hand, right there. Yep, where your thumb's about to go. Other side. This one. This? Right. Yep. Oh. Which one did I just get this one? Oh yeah, look at that other one. Yeah, that's the one you want to turn Nice. Better protection is the shit. This is the guy that we come to to upgrade our shit. Oops. I suspect you have a sharp artifact. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three Come on. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your door. Yeah, but we're leaving. Stop talking. I wish I could just give us Assuming, Assuming it is not too busy, busy you might you even meet Zerona, the, the owner. She, she is, is a charming Zerona. hostess Zerona. and a powerful Zerona. witch. Good one to know. Zerona is a owner. Are you gonna play a little bit when I'm done and make you some food? You said you could get to the charm when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down a distraction. Ooh. Fucking roasted, this bro. child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is, if you cannot get to the charm, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Anwar is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Broomsticks? Oh, it's a treat to see you lock up. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serena. You be well. A man voice. Being rude. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. But be on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only the brutes we usually have to deal with. Oh. What time, man? Was that lock block I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sir. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. 
No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butter beer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Tell. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Lovelace. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I can have to tell you everything. It is perhaps best we do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Should I save and let you play for that little bit, please? We can call it for a minute. I'm getting contact. I don't know how to save. Do you save in this game? Yeah, let me see that. Well, it should be saved, but I can also press that thing. And then we'll go like this. What are this? Inventory. Okay, okay. What am I talking Gotcha. 